Previously on Outer Wilds. The biggest of bluebies. That's where we're going today. Ooh, that was scary. I'm still like having my heart, you know. So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep like dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. I want walk straight into the statue, the statue like, yeah, storage space, and then the storage space go, yeah, I'm back to you when you die. No. Oh! What? Did I do it? I have been feeling a little under the weather today, or well, yesterday, so I thought, why not play this game to make myself feel happy? Happy? Um, so... I have a few things on my list. Hold on. I have a few things on my list. Um, I... Hmm. In Brittle Hollow at the Quantum Knowledge Tower, there was one of those um, places for a projection stone, but I couldn't find it. I don't know if that's important or not. It is not marked anywhere as some sort of question mark. I'm guessing I'm fine. So it's now, like, more to see here, more to visit, and... I have noticed that some of the texts are just like doubles. Um, the same projection stones in two different places and stuff. So I guess it's just to not simply not to miss any information. Um, but on my list, so I have, I would want to look into those towers a bit better. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to give me anything, but I don't know how to get to the sun station otherwise. Because I don't think I can land on it without burning. So. I'm thinking a teleportation point would be nice. Uh, so it feels like I should look into that. Don't know how, but yes, that's an idea. And then, uh, obviously, Phantom Moon, hello. I was so shooketh after last episodes. But I have this idea. They seem to be moduling the North Pole of the different planets. And the North Pole of Big Blue, Big Blue was just a tornado, for example, and then um, on Brittle Hollow it was just an um, ice capsule. And then we found this Nomai at the South Pole near where uh, Timber Har's version of the quantum moon, which almost makes me think that it's not so much that the moon is wandering, it, it just sort of appears with the characteristics, whatever. Um, so the sixth place that it appears, sixth location, which just had basically those stones, is probably where all of those stones came from and were like pooped out all over the solar system. But then we also have to go back to the Sunless City, which obviously I have more to explore, which I might might have something to do with the Sun Station, so that would be really good. Um. There might also be more about this, because this was one that I I started thinking about. Debated building a sun station in order to power the Ashwin project. Several of my opposed its construction, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. Um, so it might be just a whole bunch of happenings going on here at the same time. So we don't. I need to look into that. I'm wondering if I need to go back to Big Bluebee as well. Well, I want. I was thinking that I would go back to this probe cannon, but I looked back at my old footage. I didn't really miss anything. There was um, um, one of those stones floating in the air that I somehow managed to miss in all of my excitement, but it's just for um, the control module or something. So I don't think that's that's necessarily... I have to go back there for that single purpose. I did, however, see that this probe tracking module is... As it says here, underwater and purple electricity outside the viewport. Um, so that's definitely at the center of Big Blubby. So we need to get to Feldsbar because he knows how to get inside. Because he did it. So I have to conquer my fears and go into Dark Bramble, which is... <laughs> yes. Um, so, visit the other teleportation point, possibly go to Brittle Hollow after it goes through the white, I mean the black hole too, and the white hole. Um, land on the Phantom Moon again, of course, go to the Sunless City, uh, and go to Dark Bramble to talk about Bluebee, and get to the tracking module. 
Oh, and this one. There's more to discover here, to explore here. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just a lot. And I'm thinking maybe we should just start with the Sunless City. If we encounter the moon on the way, which probably will just because I said that, we can take it. Um, as a sidetracking thing, you know? But I want to go to Ash Twin, basically. And look at this. Oh, wait. Look at this. Ha ha! Um, could I mark it then? Yeah. <laughs> cool. That's cool. I completely forgot that I could do that. Oh, well, what do you know? Hello, moon. Should we go to that one instead? And I also noticed that when I jumped outside and I landed again, I ended up on the south pole. I was like, whoop, I'm in the center of the north, but I'm not. I wasn't. There we are. Oh, there's a- wait, is there different Adnomice? Hold on. Can I get out? Are there just- wait. I thought- I thought there was going to be... Didn't he sit up while we were on timber? Don't know. Whoa, that is so cool. Don't, don't, are you gonna lift me up? Do I dare? Oh no. Oh! Wait. Right. I am here, yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, so we've read this before. Consider such a non-sinister, yeah. I am ready. I don't think there was anything else I'd do here and I don't want to leave. Oh. Oh, right, so it needs to just be on the north. It's just wandering around doing its thing, right? Um... Let's go a random direction. I'm not sure if we need to be in a specific biome to be able to pass these mountains here. Doesn't seem like I can get pa Oh wait, so it will it take me to different oh. So depending on which biome I'm in, I will go into different Like, at the, uh, thoughts are not easy. So that one is the furthest away. So it needs to be in the Brittle Hollow. No, I mean the Dark Bramble for it to be... So this one will be able to get closer. Let's try that out. Yeah. So... With this one, I should be able to get... Get even closer. Maybe. So it just sort of opens up its north pole more and more. Well, I could get past the stones, I guess. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is scary. Hmm. I don't see any entrance. If I jump over the clouds, I'm just gonna get reset. It. So Bramble seems to be the closest thing to the North Pole. Though I guess I didn't go to the south to see if there's a different Nomai here. Did his body just get like tossed around? Into like seated position, laying down position, it's like wee, I'm going on a twip. That's horrible. Let's see. Yeah, he's laying differently here. Dude, you're being tossed around, eh? 
I'm sorry, Solemn. Oh, look at you! Hi! Huh. Will you still always be there? Yeah, but the ship jumps around, okay. Right, so there's still ice. Uh, right, yeah, remember when we visited our own moon, there were ice there? That they said were from this dark bramble, right? Let's look, check out the other locations. Brittle? So this one is like on the equator except for this one little nugget in there. So I just have to go as much as possible to the north? I don't think so. I think I need to get into... the most northern one. check it out yeah let's check you out we're on hearth oh no oh no let's try that again if you were so lucky that the quantum moon would just randomly be here I don't think so so there is more with this one. We'll land here. Check this one out. There are more to explore here, right? I think this is where we found the frozen one. Yeah, for sure. Oh wait, wrong one. No, let me, let me, let me do it this way. There we are. Good. Oh, no. I'm so good at boasting, I'm just boasting past it. Okay, so there was supposed to be something more to discover here. Except for this super awesome. Are you reading this one? Yeah. My first situation where I landed on this comet, not... Yeah, yeah. Strange reading. Locate the fissure. Went through. They've been gone for a long time. Should you follow protocol? Yeah. So that was that. But then we have this one. <laughs> so cute. Um, What more to discover, I wonder? Can we use this one when it's... No, it's not... I wonder what more we can discover here then. So I was like, oh, there's gonna be this thing and it just needed to be launched and... I completely misunderstood, you know? But no. So is this one really going for this? It would be uh, pretty freaking cool if it's actually going for that, but I think I'll burn before we even reach it. I don't know. Except for the fact I would love to put this on because look how cute. So someone just took their clothes off and just died. Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing about that here. I don't see anything more that we can discover here. And where are you going? We're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, what am I missing? Oh, I hit the microphone really nicely. Good. Good job. Is there something on this? 
No. No. I wonder... Hmm. Because he said there will be more to discover. That one was just covered, right? No? Yeah. That one is just covered. Hmm. Maybe it's this one, huh? So now that you're there... Will you maybe... Do you want to activate? Maybe later on in the cycle? See, I'm not sure. I am not sure. It feels like that would be it, that that thing needs to activate somehow, right? Bye! <laughs> Do we <laughs> come, come back? Maybe we can shoot it straight into the sun. That would be funny. Here she comes. I think we did it. <laughs> no, you don't want to? No. I think we burned it. <laughs> that is actually good. a little funny, okay? It's a little funny to me. I think we actually did send it straight into the sun. Because we now we can't call it. <laughs> it's just so fucking funny. I'm sorry, I'm cursing, but that's just so funny. So I could actually just destroy the shuttle. I'm sorry, that's super funny to me. Yeah, there's just nothing. I don't... Hmm. I mean, there's some upside down stairs. But there's nothing to do here. Oh, ho, ho, there you are. Little bastard. All those lanterns, and never even landed on that one. Well, I'm not sure if we can. <laughs> you were scary. Uh, and you're even more scary. It's like the further you come from the sun, the more scary they are, huh? There's the interloper. And the white hole. That is really nice. It feels like I'm chasing dreams here. So I want to... There's nothing new here, but... So I want to land on... Ah, if we see the quantum moon, we'll land on it. And... Maybe somehow go in some underwater... No, shoot. Disappeared. Some underwater caverns... To get to the North Pole from the Timber Hearth... Uh, uh, biome. Oh! Wrong one. There. Mm, not sure, obviously. I'm... Just, uh, I'm not googling anything or nothing. I'm just... It's just... I'm just using my little noggin and she's limited, okay? Limited edition, if anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, please don't bump into that one. Um, so let's go back to Sunless City, I guess. That's also one of those more to explore here situations. God, yeah, there you are. Oh. So just FYI, I experienced my very first crash in this game and it was because I was trying to use this landing view camera. I think that is universe way of saying that I, my crash landings are just fucking perfectly fine. <laughs> I shouldn't be using 
<laughs> the landing camera at all. I'm sorry, I know VC. I know that's not that's not the deal here, but uh, I still thought that was very funny. Game crashes. That is just funny. Games like no. Play it your way. It doesn't matter if it's stupid. <laughs> okay, let's let's do this again. Oh no! I don't know. I feel like the results are the same. Um, at some point, somehow, I'm still ending up where I need to be. <laughs> no. Maybe it's just because of the mood I'm in today, but these caves today are even more scary than last time I was here. I guess we did not go to, well, a lot of it, I, I guess, but... So we didn't go to this uh, shrine, uh, which was this one. I shrine district, though, I, th I hmm. I think that one was just in ghost matter, right? Let's just light up the whole thing. I'm getting scared that it's dark. Don't touch the lights. Nice. So the sh this I I shrine I shrine district is here. That's where the ghost matter was, and you'll take me. Oh wait. Excuse me. I wanted to read that. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. Oh, Solomon, you went to the moon. Uh, they say it brought us to the solar system, but is that is that good? That told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here, yeah? What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? Yeah, but then you went and you explored the moon, huh? Oh, it's looking like little cars. That's so cute. Hmm. So that was just Solemn talking to himself. His little diary thing. Alright then. I don't know. I don't think we could... Uh, uh, what am I stuck on? I don't think he could pass here very... Well. No, it's just the entire thing, huh? Um, not good. Could I maybe shoot scout so he's going up this thing? Oh no, there is a lot of everything in there, huh? It is there, but I can't go down there and I can't go in here. And there is nothing there. And there is no opening big enough. On the windows either. Yeah, it's here with this weird glass. Bonk. Help. Oh. Look at the dreads on, that's so scary. I'm sitting and thinking how I, what I would do now. Cause this is again here. I really don't think I can get through there. Hmm? 
there is for sure. Ah, I just want to jump straight into those cactuses. Ah, uh, no, it's just all over. When it's enough sand, I was thinking I could walk around. Probably. Then I would have to be really quick, huh? Run all the way over there. Possibly. Yeah, okay, let's try that next time. I feel good about that. So I'd have to go really fast from the very beginning. Okay, well. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about the oxygen right now, sir. Yeah. We're gonna have to be... We have to time it, right? To get to the sun station. I think that's the one. Yeah, that is the one. Wait for you to pass. A freaking vacuum cleaner. Yeah, that might actually work. Yes. Run, run, run. Oh my god. Ooh. <gasps> oh, I think... Dude, I think I did it. <laughs> Look at me go. Okay, uh, do I need to... What is... Oh my god, I can't believe I'm so... I'm so okay, I, I got nervous all of a sudden. Are you gonna activate? What, what do we, why do I have so many of those informational plates that doesn't want to activate? No? <gasps> okay. Can I... I don't want to teleport back, so... Thank you. Oh! All right, all right. Oh my God, okay. Six minutes, 38 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. 281,042 years ago, no user command received for 10 minutes, all system entering sleep. opens emergency door do i want to do that i think i think i i think i want to do that ah! not gonna lie this is so freaking cool no no come on match it match it match it oh for christ's sake holding my breath that entire time oh okay all right oh oh my god okay uh okay breathe mission science compels us to expl explode the sun can't we change this i don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement but it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. 
Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it is possible to prompt prompt the sun to explode. You you lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does. Oh. I don't... ...know what to make of this. Your eyes are closed, huh? Oh my god, I'm nervous, I'm nervous! So they did make the sun station to... So it's about... they stopped receiving commands. And then it went into a state of criti critical states. Is that where I came from? I don't know. And they wanted to trigger it into a supernova. I don't... understand. Why? Several of those statues, huh? Approximate time until Sun Station is destroyed by expanding star, 2 minutes 28 seconds. Approximate time until star death, 13 minutes and 58 seconds. Star has reached end of natural life cycle, now approaching red giant state. Warning, evacuate sp the station. Never. I shall never. Okay, there's a stone here somewhere. No? What happened? Did the sun, sun, sun station not fire? It fired Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were inten... Inf... Infint... What? Infinitesimally small surface level changes. Sorry, my, my Swedish don't compute English sometimes. Uh, surface level changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. Okay. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how, how, uh, how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that would likely to investigate. Mm -hmm. Hi, I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've both worked. I can bear I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is how is Adea? We're well, Jaro. Uh, or as well as we can be expected. Uh, expected given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the, uh, the device would fail. I hoped our terrible... I'd hoped our terrible work was finished. The star and the sun? Do you think the sun sent out these signals? Is that it? Yeah. I was hoping there would be more scrolls. Yeah. So this was the teleportation thing, huh?
Weird. Weird, okay. Well, I'm glad I figured that one out, I guess. Um, hmm. The sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. Okay. Then my fired the sun fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the sun station could never cause the sun to go supernova. Okay, after the failure of the sun station, the Nomai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comets. According to a Nomai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. So, they were doing that, and then... And then they got killed. Basically? Huh. Cool. <laughs> that is cool. I think that's what I did accidentally and I got the achievement for it, but I didn't know what I did. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to land on you. I don't think so. But you're pretty cool. Hey, 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 but I landed on it. Freaking did it. Oh. And it's a little scary, not gonna lie. So before they could make the sun station do what they wanted it to do, they got swiped by the ghost matter. Mm, it's obviously not their intention, right? Bonk. Hmm. Went around this entire thing, couldn't find anything. Oh, oh, almost got bonked, I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm come on. Okay, no, so there we go. But thank you. Okay, so I'm thinking that I may have missed a plate here because you see how there's this thing. I feel like this should be a little plate somewhere, right? It feels like there would be, but um, no. Could be floating somewhere though. There was probably a way to, or like, if I'd explored all of the things that went through. I could possibly have found a plate and this would have been a way to read it. I'm not sure. But I'm thinking I'm crossing it off my list now. So that's good. Hmm, <laughs> look at you shoot. Hmm. Now I'm thinking about it every single time. Okay, so... We still did... Uh, I mean... I've just been trying different theories now. I'm gonna cut out a lot. Obviously, but um, we got the sun station. Holy crap! So they were at the point of wanting to trigger the supernova ahead of time. And then it said that it lost contact 10 minutes ago. So is there still some Nomai somewhere? 
Still more to explore, which I know is the I Shrine, I Shrine Temple or whatever it was called. Um, couldn't really get there. I need to explore a bit more about that. So right now on my list, going down my list, I have, well, visit the other teleportation points. I uh, I wanted to get to the sun station mainly. I think the rest is fine, possibly. I don't know. Um. Was there one for Dark Bramble? One of those... One of these ones? I don't know. I mean, because it feels weird that they would have explored the entire system and then they're just like, well, the third shuttle, <laughs> who cares? Uh, it feels like they should have looked into that, right? I mean, I would, if I had known that one of the escape pods didn't make it out of Dark Bramble, I would go there as soon as possible. So once the first two groups uh, got together, they would go for this one, right? And they, but also they are speaking hypothetically that they know that the vessel's uh, core, warp core broke. So maybe they didn't confirm it or they couldn't go back in or I don't know. Then again, when we were here... Um, what was it? Pokey said to the kids that real anglerfish are blind, so maybe they're speaking from experience, so... Yeah... There might be a teleportation point there, but did they need any? I don't know if they needed any materials from the... Don't know. Do not know. Um, so I'm crossing that one off anyway. And then I had to go to Brittle Hollow to look into Quantum Knowledge Tower. Because I thought that there might be this uh, little stone disk thing for the projection. I couldn't see it anywhere. And I'm not sure if it's really that important. I'm thinking that similar disks are probably everywhere. Might be for the Ash Twin Project or something like that. Mm. Then again, maybe I would get more for this one just from reading. Don't know, but I couldn't see anything. Uh... Uh, Phantom Moon. Went through all of the domes, couldn't see how to get closer. I wonder if there is a specific way to go about it. Like, you'd start at the first location, explore, go to the second location, explore, go to the third location, and you'd just end up closer and closer to the North Pole. Um, and the location order is on the wall. That might be one. Don't know. And then to get to the tracking module that the big blue shat out uh, or the cannon broke and decided to toss into a whirlwind at big blue. Blobby. Um, the tracking module was below water inside this center thing somehow. And I need to get to Feldspar in Dark Bramble. I think it was Feldspar, right? Yeah. I need to get to Felspar in Dark Bramble to find out how he got to the center of Big Blue. And then go to Big Blue Center and find the tracking module. So, what do we do? I'm thinking I would want to look into Phantom Moon a bit more. It would be really nice. And also, we found a different... I mean, the, the my body from Solemn... He was laying on different... in different positions, on different places. <laughs> Which was so creepy! And his ship was teleported different places, even though he'd landed on the South Pole. So the ship became... Ah, uh, because that one is not... It's, it wasn't observing its surroundings. The ship. But the guy, when he died, he was still there at some... I don't know. Hmm. I guess not everything is electrons. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking Phantom Moon. I feel like I need to take a little quick break first, though. I've been playing for one and a half hours. And I'm getting hungry. So I'm gonna do that before we <laughs> before we go for the moon that's right there. I freaking knew it! I freaking knew it! Oh my god. 
<laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I, I guess I'm not eating. So are you the Norse? Or doesn't it matter? It's just gonna teleport me. I don't need to specifically land on the south. Into the south, but... I don't know, that might actually be north, I don't know. Ooh. Straight on the corpse. Yes, that's how we do things. Where I'm from. Ugh, what if I would have gotten my suit? That would be so freaking funny. Where's their little ambers going? Interesting. Okay. Now I need to try something. We're now at the second location. We'd need to go... <laughs> I can hear my little scout there fighting for his life. There. We'll take a loopy loopy loo. Because this would be the first location. See, you can't get past here, so it's layers. You're passing through different layers, and you need to go from. You need to go into the correct layer, I think. It's like an onion. The moon is an onion. Oh no, we're closing in on the beginning here and there's no dent in this onion layer. Alright. No dents? No. Then I guess we can try to go to timber. There. us any closer at all. That did say you have to go on foot though. Yeah, see here you're setting up, huh? One of the locations would bring me closer inside, I think. Let's check out Brittle. Okay, let's see if you will bring me further. Because right now we are really far away from... ...from the north. Yeah. So this one's got a little... ...dent into it. That's good. That is good. I think it's too small for me to fit through. I don't... Don't really... That one is big. No. Can't get through that either, huh? Is this where I want to be?
Yeah. I think it is. Okay, let's see if this works now. Why am I getting nervous? Take me to your Lido. Almost there. There we are. It worked. I can go out. Secret place. Okay. Oh yeah. That didn't tell me anything new, but I guess we are in... Do I need to go to the south now? Probably. Because everything else is probably locked out if I'd gone into the tower at any other location and gone here. Whoa! Whoa! Hi! Eye of the storm? <gasps> oh my god, I almost started to cry. I got scared. Solemn? Who are you? I, I have goosebumps. I know you guys can't see it, but I have freaking goosebumps. Can we talk through the... Identify? Explain? Pick up quantum moon me? Identify? Okay, identify... You. I am Solemnum, Anomai. I thought that's the guy we found dead at the beginning. Or maybe he is dead, actually. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Okay. Remove. Ah. Explain. Quantum moon. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look look the same as the quantum moon surface does now. While at the eye, we are at the eye. Okay. Oh, herregud, jag är så nervös. Förlåt mig, jag pratar svenska, men... Uh, jag, har, jag har gåshud. Um, from this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now. And that the eye is its primary location. Okay. Given the quantum moon is the eye... Given the quantum moon... Is the ice moon? Oh, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. Did the eye explode? The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus, the eye is likely also quantum. Makes sense. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because it's because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas, the areas surrounding quantum shards that land on other planets eventually became quantum too. So explain... Explain you. Ah. 
I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Namai in my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer the, to the eye than any other place we know. Sure, that's true. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye, while the quant while the eye is while the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Oh, that's a signal that they saw because it looked like an eye. Sure, man. Looks like a butt to me, but okay. Um, so that's explain. Wait, explain. No, explain. Explain the eye. There's fundamentally uncer fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, the uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behaviors because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon what uh, oh okay have similar effect as i imagined you've seen elsewhere in the so star system uh, should it have come yeah okay that's okay yeah sure conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility but what happened if the conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself what happens if the conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself okay over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Um, so, can you, wait, can you explain? Explain me? Why? Does that help? I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask. If I could comprehend your language, you have my gratitude for understanding mine. So identify me, but also then explain. Can you explain? How am I here? I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system as my clan originally did. Identify. Identify the quantum moon. This is the quantum moon where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. So why isn't the eye moving? Guess it doesn't need to. I don't think I can take the blue ones and combine it like that. Oh? I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon's changes its appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks looks quite different from when orbiting Giant's Deep than it does look orbiting the Hourglass Twin. Yeah. Because the quantum moon clearly changes uh, in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similar, similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite this, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes uh, locked on one specific version of itself when it's consciously observed. But what would happen if the conscious observer were to enter the eye? Many in my clan have believed 
the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was uh, malevolent. Uh, to have lured my clan to this star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Yes. Yes. Past my journey as reason. Dude. Yes, you're dead. I'm not joking. I found your body. Um. Okay, so... What do we want to do now? We want to... Me... And the moon. How... How am I here? This is your first time to the quantum moon. It's my first time here. Yeah... If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Okay, so me... And the eye? You have anything to say about that? You can say everything about every combination, it seems. Okay. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of the conscious observer might be? If we would become... part of the quantum? How would you merge... conscious observation with quantum? How would that work? Come on. And me and you, how are we both here? Is time standing still? What is... We do not have much connection. You and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Dude, I would fucking love to. You're awesome. Um. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. You do No, it's really... I think I did them all. Dude, it's ending. I... That's it. I just want to say in... Dude, you're dead. Yeah. You're actually dead. Friends, we're not gonna see each other for a long time. I think. But I would want to jump into the eye though. Look at that. Dude, what? <laughs> hmm. Was that the quantum moon that just disappeared? <laughs> Holy crap. I met a living, well, living, in a mine named Solanum, Solanum at the South Pole. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe. The universe's moon, yeah. At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all mac 
spectroscopic quantum phenomenon in the solar system. Solanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Solanum has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. Goosebumps, dude. Goosebumps. I think I have to end it here. I've recorded for two hours, but there's been a lot of just guessing back and forth. I've been visiting a lot of different places, trying to s just wrap a few things up. So I think I'm actually going to be editing out like an almost a full hour or something. Hmm. Hmm. I know I still need to visit Feldspar in Dark Bramble to try to figure out how to get into the center of Giant's Deep or Blabe. Big Blabe. Uh, and need to get into the Eye Shrine in the Sunless City, which I don't really know how to do yet. And then when we get into Big Blobe Center, we can look into this tracking module. But now I'm like... Has this become our purpose as well? To try to find the eye? So the tracking module is being... I mean the, the probe is being sent out in all different directions. So is the idea here that it's supposed to be sent out in all different directions and then 22 minutes later it was supposed to be reset it and it just kept going like that? Mm. Is that why they're trying to trigger the supernova? But is the supernova just a way to trigger a black hole? So we're being sent back 22 minutes constantly? But then in case of malfunction it's supposed to trigger too. And then Solemn, he was... I mean, she was dead. She was dead but her consciousness, that's... Her, so her consciousness was observing the quantum moon and the consciousness survived and travels with the moon. Um, but her body died. So it's just the consciousness that would enter the eye. Oh. That is a... That hurts your brain a little bit, right? Because if you're to observe a quantum object, it's moving in one predict predictable path. But if you stop observing it, it moves in waves, right? Hmm. Wow. Okay. Questions. I guess that's going to be the end of this. There's really just a couple of question marks left and I'm, I don't know if that's going to be wrapped up in the next episode and then we can start looking into the DLC before ending the main game, the base game. I would want to do that. I still have so many questions though. That's going to have to do it for this episode. Uh, I love that you guys are giving me uh, like uh, you can do this and you can do that. Like using the camera and stuff. I'm getting a little control controller blind when it's all on screen. I don't see it uh, after a while. So I really appreciate that you guys are coming with some feedback and just without breaking the game, you know, just giving me some thoughts, food for thought. That's really nice. I appreciate you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.